Hi guys, so today I'm not feeling my best at all. Um, I've just been having a rough morning physically and emotionally. My neck and back hurt really bad this morning. I, uh, I don't think I ever said this, but I took a nasty fall at the beginning of January and ever since then my back and my neck have been not good like at all and I'm just not doing well emotionally today either I'm feeling very just blah so yeah but I'm still going to class because I figure a little laughter will do me good because my teacher is hilarious so good and then I can come home and do some homework because I have a test that I have to take today because it closes at 10 tonight so <clears throat> I need to do that and then I have a couple assignments that I need to finish also and yeah it's 11 now so I have to go so I can get to class on time so bye so I forgot to film when I got out of class so now I'm home and I wanted to kind of talk about like what we did in government today. We uh, watched this documentary and it was um, actually about um, a case that happened in a town that's like not too far from where I live. And uh, it's in Texas. And it was about this man who was accused of arson. Um, that killed his three children and at first I was like he did it because of all this evidence but it happened back in 1991 which is like back then they didn't have all the special technology that could prove people guilty or innocent that we have now and so basically now they have evidence or they had evidence that he was um innocent scientific evidence well not that he would like because he he wasn't like a nice guy because he beat his wife and stuff like that but there was scientific proof that it wasn't arson that it was an accidental fire and so uh he was actually sentenced to uh death and he was executed in i think 2004 but i'm not completely sure and um and they had found the evidence that proved him innocent like four days before he was executed. And Rick Perry being the, I'm not even going to talk about Rick Perry right now, but he decided that he wasn't going to suspend the guy's um, execution for 30 days or whatever it was. And so he was executed when he was innocent. And so basically it made me mad <laughs> because... There was scientific evidence that he was innocent, but he still got ex executed. And there was like, even though he's dead, the case is still pretty much going on today. So that's what we did in class. We watched that documentary and then we talked about it. And pretty much everybody doesn't like Rick Perry. So that is... Okay. So I guess I'll go inside now and probably eat some lunch. And then I need to take my test for personal finance. So I will be seeing you guys on Thursday. I'm going to have a Valentine's Day related video. And yeah, so I'll see you guys Thursday and bye!